morning everyone good afternoon good evening whichever great part of this planet you're from welcome to my channel i am nelson you're watching nature now and if you're brand new and just stopping by thank you for giving this channel a try hit that subscribe button so you can see a lot of what's coming this year like today's episode which is kind of different my last episode was based on bringing back bringing in my orchids uh, for protection here in miami florida we're not used to these heavy cold snaps they do happen once in a blue moon and they usually last only one night a couple of hours but we've had three days of really really cold weather compared to what we normally have which it never goes below 40 but we were i think the lowest marked was 33 and that was for about an hour and a half two hours and then it started rising again so it was like very it came in and out very quickly but that could still damage your orchids so i put everything inside i protected them i gave them heaters and today is a day that i put everything back everything's starting to look really warm and crispy i'm out here in the fresh sun <laughs> that's why i'm filming here because in the shade it's still a little cold and um i want to show you guys what the place looks like without any of my orchids and how it's going to look like once i put everything back so without further ado let's go i usually say let's go look at some orchids in this case let's go put up some orchids <laughs> All right, so here we are in my area where I call Vandaline. And this is where, if you guys follow me and you remember my previous videos, I keep all my Vandas in this area hanging with Spanish moss. And everything looks so empty. I'm actually using today my, um, my handheld AI tripod. Um, I don't know, I was in the mood to to use this because it tends to be smoother but anyways as you can see there's nothing hanging everything is quite <laughs> quite empty it's so weird because I'm so used to seeing everything hanging from the top okay. but there's nothing nothing at all now there's a surprise I'm going to show you guys in this area once I'm done that Lewis just built for me it was an idea that came up from some chairs that he found those round rattan chairs and he wanted to do something with them and I had a little spark of an idea and he executed it perfectly so I'll be showing you guys that very soon but sorry I'm sorry if it feel <laughs> I'm not doing this guys this is my AI doing it is trying to figure out the direction I'm going in <laughs> So I'm so sorry. I'm just, I have to learn how to use this. All right, so let's go into my uh, screen room. Oh boy, what is it doing? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. All right, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Uh, it might be normal when I play it back because I've noticed that before that it looks weird here, but then it plays normal. All right, so this is my wall that you guys have seen filled. Right now I have a couple of things out here that I took out from the garage. And then in here is my screen room. So empty. I'm not used to seeing it like this at all. And if you remember my bat plant, I did wet it yesterday and she bounced right back up. She looks really good. She needed water. I was told not to water my plants, but it looks so bad that I said, you know, if the cold doesn't kill it, the lack of hydration will. And so there you have it. Everything is pretty much put away. nothing here boring 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 <laughs> not what we're used to seeing all right my dendrobiums did very well i had a viewer tell me that dendrobiums do very well in um in cold they don't they don't suffer as much as other orchids do so she did a did very well in the in the cold snap and then here 
in this behind door number one we have the botanical extravaganza <laughs> let me see if i can open it with one hand hercules hercules <laughs> all right got it so yep as you guys can see i'm opening it for the first time <sighs> and my camera is freaking out so you guys can see exactly what i'm seeing freshly open nothing looks damaged everything looks happy the heaters here are the heaters let me this is cool wherever you point this this thing it kind of like knows where you're going so it moves on its own but it's a smoother transition so as you can see they're all looking very happy and cozy in here and it's i can feel it's nice and warm so let's start taking these puppies all out and putting them back in their place so i will see you guys on the flip side when everything is finished see you soon all right guys it took me all morning afternoon and going almost into i actually don't know what time it is it feels like it's late afternoon but it's actually the golden hour here in my place so it's a perfect time to show you guys the final results and i actually have more space now for some reason so without further ado here is my workspace back to how it was no more nursery i mean i kind of miss it i really like the way it looks so i only kept a couple of, of things here like some of the hoyas i really like the lighting in here for them and my uh salon generis uh, russia sinii i think it, that's a really good spot for it and then my my rehabilitation uh fowls i have them i put them on these hangers that i've had and i figure you know why not use them now that i have so many um hoops on the ceiling i can go ahead and just make use of that and then made some more space i actually made a lot more space than what i had here i mean this this has been a working process this workshop because this used to be like a storage garage workshop it was everything so slowly we've been that's my work area there that's where i have all my supplies so it's you know my organized chaos but it served a great purpose, which was keeping my orchids all um, warm. And everything looks good. So let's go see some orchids. Let's start with the greenhouse. Actually, no, let's start with a grid wall because you guys remember how my wall was. I put more now on the wall and I still have space for more. So by doing this, I ended up organizing it better It looks very clean, even though there's a lot. Let me see if I pull back from here. Because I remember shooting from here with Simba on the last video. Oh, the sun's really... Sorry, guys. Sun's like really right there. I'm trying to shade it, but... Yeah, I think that works a little bit. So... That's what it looks like. Uh, I don't like, oh, here we go. Even under the, the shed, the sun's pretty bright today. So everything, as you can see, looks pretty happy. I just had this Cobiana, Cobianum, I think it is, a Cobianum. Dendrobium bloom while it was in there. Cobianum, yeah. Look how cute the little flowers are. Come on. They're so tiny. And it smells sweet. It's really pretty. I love this one. So I ended up putting some of the things back where they were. Like the Agrecum and the Wildcat but i found space for other things that i kind of liked better 
And um, like this right here, I really like the way this fits here. Plus it has some buds coming out. I think I saw, oh yeah. Look, it's starting to open. I have the AI tripod, so there we go. I just don't want to squash it. And they smell so good. Once she opens completely, you'll see how pretty she is. All right. That ficus keeps making a weird noise. All right, so as far as on my grid side, on the side grids, I pretty much kept it the same where my insidiums and my chromatophyllums are. But then here, now I have a lot more space for some reason on this wall. But you see, I can kind of see everything a little better than before because I had a lot more stuff. I decided to tilt the green flashed dendrobium forward so that way the canes show the flowers because you couldn't see the flowers. I put the golf green hair pig or green golf hair pig back in the same spot. The Bubba Phylums, I kept them. Whoa, this stuff is like flying a kite. I don't know how to get. Okay, here we go. I'll see because the sun's hitting this side. All right. So I put all my Bubba Phylums, uh, Bubba Phylums and some of my Epicatleas in, is it Epi or in Cichlias? No, in Cichlias, I'm sorry. Because uh, I have one here that's shooting a, a spike. This is con the con cor is it Cordigera or cord Cordigera? Cordigera, I don't know. I just know it's a beautiful flower. And I have another one here. So these, I, I was concerned inside that they would get enough warmth because I know I've, I didn't have luck with them before. They're pretty sensitive, but lately I've, you know, I've had a lot of shoots. And this is uh, the one I call the popcorn <laughs> oncidium that it's yellow, but it turns, oh, it won't, it can't catch it, it's too small. I, I would have to switch to my other camera. But anyways, I'm really more here to show you guys how I was able to put everything back together. And it actually fit very nice. I put all my cat layers there. I'm trying to get the hang of this camera. <laughs> I like the smoothness of it, but it gets me a little bit dizzy. See, it, it, it kind of like wants to do its own thing. There we go. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. My bonsai seem to held pretty well because let me tell you that cold cold air made the leaves droop a lot they're coming back and my hibiscus you know this is a tropical plant so I don't know how how it's blooming and and doing well and then I put all my and Burke is back. I actually put a hook on the on the tree and hung. This is a a new one I just purchased at a local nursery. I can't remember their name. They're like in this obscure place. They always had some cool stuff, but look, it has a spike already. So it's a surprise. I don't know what it is. It has no it has a tag, but it has a number. So the growers probably log it in into a computer system by number. That's usually what it is. But it's a beautiful flower. Look. Wow. 
Oh, it's windy. It's a little hard, especially that I'm learning this, this camera system, but I have to do it. I've had it for a while and I've been like afraid of it. So this is the only one that stayed outside. And I did do the plastic bag. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to, but I had a really large one from Target and I bubbled it around and kind of clipped it here and it held well. You know, it wasn't tight. Plus, it, yesterday wasn't so sunny, so, or at least yesterday night. So I took it off yesterday. That's, uh, by the way, that's a uh, Renanthera Red Dragon. Let me see, because the sun right now is so strong. Even though it's a go golden hour, it's a little bit. There, that's pretty. Yay. It feels like the Discovery Channel. See, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's just that I need to learn how to do it. All right, so let's go to Vandalane. <laughs> I was missing all this Spanish moss and um, roots floating from the sky. I was like, oh, my little fairy tale garden is gone. <laughs> but look, I put them all back. But have you guys noticed something? There's a lot less than what I had before. And I'll tell you why in just a few. By the way, my uh, golden doubloon do, do do from Ben Young's is actually shooting a lovely spike. I'm finally going to get some flowers because it hasn't flowered for me in quite a while. And after I cut it down to make it smaller, because it was like taking up too much length. I had to like bring it down. It actually gave me a spike. And see, this is what happens when you have cold weather. So I'm not complaining because it's only this. And this was, a, this was before the cold snap. This was from a previous cold snap. So it's really sort of like, I don't know if that counts. And then this, it's my other large one that I had to cut. And this one's prone sometimes to getting uh, fungus like this. See, if you see that it goes through both sides, it's fungus. So I've been spraying her and she's kind of like coming back. Like I'm seeing her a lot greener and she's looking good. And she did bloom for me last season, so. Now, I want to show you guys what I was talking about, that Lewis, my partner, found these round rattan chairs that they, I think they sell them at Pure One. And, oh, I got low power, so I have to hurry up. And he brought them home, and he's like, I have no idea what to do with these. I was thinking we can do something cool with them. And so as soon as I saw them, I said, you know, why don't we flip them around just use the skeleton and just see as what they look like, like chandeliers. And so we decided to create the effect of like a jellyfish. So we made them into garden chandeliers with hanging vandas, giving the effect of floating jellyfish. As soon as I saw it, that's the image I got in my head and I go, oh, wait, wait, what if we flip them the other way around <laughs> and we hang them? Let me see. I want to see if I can do this. Yeah, there you go. It's very nice. And he hung them with a cross cable, like going from one tree to the next. And it has like a, like a rail type of thing. I don't know what they call it. I'm sorry. I'm not the handy one. 
I just come up with ideas and he knows how to execute them. <laughs> so that's how, that's how we work. <laughs> so anyways, that's what we have now. And it's great because I, I keep my orchids there. They still get a nice, they get good lighting there. And um, when they're not blooming, the compact orchids I put there. I'm not going to put the large one there because it's going to be way too heavy. As you can see, these are all small, compact orchids. So I did. I, I don't. I don't want to put, you know, extreme weight on them. And so it's very easy. You just hang them from the from the rails. And what Lewis did, he reinforced it and make sure they're tight, and he restained it so that way it's has a nice sheen to it. So this is very cool. I think this is one of like the coolest things that we've done out here besides the shack and the doors on the shack. I think this one like is very like I've never seen this anywhere. <laughs> so it's like I love it very 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 happy with the outcome let me know what you guys think we love to upcycle things you know it's always good to to instead of just throw it out try to create something cool with it you know not just anything but just something that's gonna make it stand out if not then we don't use it but this just had so much character I said oh wait a minute we have to incorporate this with, with orchids some way, somehow. <laughs> All right. Enough of the jelly, of the, I don't even know what to call it. You guys come up with a name. I call him Vanda Jellyfish. <laughs> All right. Let me turn this camera around, put it in the area that I love to record. And I'll see you on the flip side of this camera. All right, folks, that is it. That is the end of today's episode. I hope it wasn't too long and chatty. I was just taking it all in because I've been working all day. And actually, as I was showing you guys recording this, I was taking it all in. So I was kind of like feeling the moment. So I hope it w I didn't drag it too long. I just want to share some of that stuff with you because we had done it a couple of, uh, I think like a week and a half ago. And I was so excited to show you guys because I was like, oh my God, I, I don't think I've seen anything like this. So there it is. That is our latest project of many uh, in 2022. I told you guys, but we had a lot of ideas. I just can't give it to you all at once because then it doesn't make it interesting. So I hope that you enjoyed the show. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button if you liked it. If you didn't, then thank you for stopping by. <laughs> My name is Nelson. You're watching Nature Nell. And remember to always, always keep it warm when in the cold and always keep it green. See you next time.